today I'm going to show you how to do the waffle V stitch stitch. Now I am just using a color of Big Twist to make a swatch. Um, if you are making your own in a different weight yarn, I recommend going up at least one hook size from what it says just to help uh, give this blanket that stretch because it is a 3D shape, has those post double crochets it'll give it a nice stretch and, and nice and drapey if you go up a hook size, depending on what yarn you use. So to start, uh, to make anything with the waffle V-stitch, you will want to do a multiple of five. Now I'm gonna crochet 35, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make 35 chains just to start with. So let me go ahead and make my 35 chains. Okay, so at this point I have, I made my 35 chains here and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put a double crochet in the ch sixth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one double crochet right in that chain. And then I'm gonna make a second double crochet in that same exact chain. Now what I'm gonna do is chain one and I'm gonna make two double crochets in the next chain. So that's one double crochet, two double crochets. So you have your little V stitch there but done in different chains. So now you're gonna go ahead and skip three chains. One two, three, and you're gonna double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So I'm gonna double crochet right in there. And just like before, I'm gonna make two double crochets in this same chain. So I made my one double crochet, now I'm making my second double crochet. I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna make two double crochets in the next chain. So that's one double crochet, two double, two double crochets okay so i now made another v stitch okay so now i'm gonna skip another three chains one two three and i'm gonna yarn over and make my two double crochets in that fourth chain okay there's one double crochet and then two double crochets i'm gonna chain one and then do two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, I'm gonna skip three again. One, two, three, and make two double crochets in that next chain. And it's one double crochet, two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets in that next stitch. So you're gonna keep going across like this, skipping three chains and then making two double crochets in the fourth chain, chain one, two double crochets in the next chain. You can continue that till you have three stitches left. So as you see, I have one, two, three chains left. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put one double crochet in that last chain. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my work and now we're gonna start the stitch. Now what I'm gonna do in this first row is the same thing you're gonna do all the way across. You're gonna do the same row repeat the whole way across and this stitch will also be reversible. It should look the same on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is make, I'm gonna skip this first double crochet I'm gonna front post double crochet around the second double crochet in that two double crochet cluster. And yarn over and make that double crochet the post front post double crochet okay now I'm going to go ahead and make a v-stitch on round that chain one so I'm going to make a double crochet in the chain one space I'm going to chain one double crochet in that chain one space and now I'm going to make one more front post double crochet on that first double crochet of the two double crochet cluster. Okay, 
So the, the first double crochet of that V stitch and the last double crochet of that V stitch are not worked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna skip this double crochet. I'm gonna skip the first double crochet of the next V stitch, this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and front post double crochet in that second double crochet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a V stitch right on that chain one, one double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make another front post double crochet on that first double crochet. So that's what it should look like. Go ahead and do that again. I'm skipping this end double crochet, skipping the beginning double crochet. I'm going around and doing a front post double crochet. I'm on the second one of the next cluster. You make your typical V stitch in the chain one spot. It's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. So this is what it should look like at this point. So go ahead and continue doing that. You're gonna do your front post double crochet around the second double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the chain one spot, and then double crochet around the next double crochet. Continuing just as I've been doing on these last three V stitches. So you should have made your front post double crochet V stitch and then your second front post double crochet in each cluster across, and this is what it should look like. Now what you're gonna do is make one double crochet right in on that chain up from the beginning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double crochet right into that little space just to finish off the row. Okay, that's what it should look like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, two, three, and then turn my work. And I'm gonna continue just like I've been doing. I'm gonna skip that double crochet right there and go in that second double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and make my front post double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and make my V stitch in the second, I'm sorry, in the chain one. So that's one double crochet, chain one, double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and front post double crochet in that next double crochet. I'm skipping that double crochet, skipping the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and front post double crochet in that second of the cluster. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my V stitch in the chain one spot, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then double crochet around the next, sorry, front post double crochet around the next double crochet, skipping that last one. So you're gonna go ahead across and do the same thing here that you did on the last row. And read a, repeat across till the end. So I've now finished this row and to end, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna go ahead and make a double crochet right on that chain up from the beginning of the previous row. Okay, so that's all we do. Simple row, repeat, you're gonna chain up three, skip the first double crochet, front post double crochet around the next, do your V-stitch in the chain one spot and then double crochet, front post double crochet on the next double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more rows just so you can see a swatch and get the idea of how the stitch looks. So at this point, as you see, I only did a few more rows, but this is the idea of what it should look like. And then when you flip it over, it should look identical on the other side. So you can choose either way to use it or whichever side is your wrong side. But it has this cool texture that's similar to that waffle stitch, but it's the V stitch. Great textured blanket that would be great for newborns that need that tactile feel. So that's how you do the waffle V stitch. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thanks for watching.